Hey guys, what is up? Perfect Chaos here, and today I'm here with Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. You guys know it, and I know it. So here, um, I already did the intro, and I'm just gonna start the story mode from this point in time because I really do not feel like doing the intro again. I already did it twice, and I really just do not feel like doing it again. So yeah. So if you want to Add see the original in intro, Stand you can just by. go on YouTube and see it. But I'm not gonna do the intro because I've already played it through like three times, four times. We're now. back online, Colonel. Thank you, darling. So you can see the. That's Doctor Darling. But this should catch you up on most Elizabeth of it. Elizabeth Veronica Darling. Colonel Sloan, it's us. Sergeant Rex Power Colt, Lieutenant T. T. Brown. Of course. They sent you boys after me. Now that right there is a definition of insanity. Darling, you are looking at two genuine Mark IVs. Top of the line. Isn't it? I know what happened to your face. Price of power, boys. She's a mean, demanding bitch. And she's a wildcat in the sack. Sir, what happened? They said you went off the reservation. It's gotta be a mistake. Ever since the nuking of Canada and the invasion of Australia, the world's been floundering something fierce. We've lost our way, gentlemen. And now the government, our government, talks reconciliation. With the Red Menace. I have a means to address the balance. R -r 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 Rex, he's lost it, man. What are your orders regarding me and Omega Force, huh? How much does Washington know? I'm sorry, sir. I respect you, but I can't. <laughs> and you've bought into their goddamn lies. What a pity. You download my mainframe into your cortex. Fuck you! <laughs> your planet. By the way, he's not glitching out or he's, he's not. Well, he's glitching out. He's not stuttering. He's glitching out because the mainframe is so large that it corrupted his AI. So that's why he's like stuttering. Not because he just stuttered in general. can be brought in line or be taken offline no! <laughs> you are dead I imprinted you mark force with all my combat savvy right tell you what I'm giving you a shot at the brass ring boy So basically we're playing as him. Now we wake up in a strange cave. Come in. Sergeant Rex Colt? Wait, who is this? Dr. Elizabeth Darling. I keyed into your comm when I was examining you. Sloan's cut you off from Briar Patch. What the hell was that? I'm sending you coordinates to a safe location. And why should so now Dr. Dolan is helping because us because Sloan. she apparently hates Sloan. Oh. That's all he needs okay, to know Doc, in order to trust her. Apparently. Stay low and stay quiet. The blood dragons have poor eyesight and a hunger for humans and cyborgs. Ooh, blood what? dragon. Hello? Fuck. Yep. Scanning so you'll see what blood dragons are in Objective just a little located. while. Objective. Just Escape. you wait. Alert. You have no equipment and are completely defenseless. Avoid all contact with cyber soldiers. What's up with all the blue goo? Holy shit. That's some lie. Dr. 
Dr. Darling mentioned they possess poor eyesight. Crouching may be advisable. The creature is emitting bioradiation. I've calibrated your scanner to alert you to their presence. Alright, so basically now all well, we have to do is get to the first gear. So get out past all these dragons. Yeah, you keep eating. Basically, I love this game because this game is not only like, you know, fun as heck. But it's also set in a retro futuristic world. That's if you don't know right. what I'm talking about, a retro futuristic world is kind of like, see, technically in the 80s they thought that we would have flying cars and all that shit by this year, actually, by 2013. And actually, if you remember back in the future, a few months ago, you know, in the first Back to the Future, when Mario goes to the future, and I mean, actually, in the second Back to the Future, when Mario goes to the future, that date which he went into the future was actually a few months ago. Of course, we don't have other boards and stuff like that, which I surely wish we would. But basically, the retro futuristic means that what people thought we were gonna have by now, back in the 80s, and this game is exactly what um, exactly what retro futuristic means. Go, go. The dragons will hear you if you do Rick. not crouch. Eat it up, little dragon dude. Alright, there we go. Objective. Move to the designated vantage point. I recommend collecting more cyber hearts. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Run, 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 run. What do you want me to do? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, there's no cyber hearts here. Dragons will attack them. Holy shit. So I the dragon are doing my dirty work by attacking all these people. Oh, the bow and arrow, sweet. Let me use this. Omega Force soldiers just arrived. Sweet. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh no, they're rounding up the scientists. Then get out. Not if you want a shot at Sloan. You need to secure the garrisons for supplies. Detecting weapons in the bunker that you can use. All right. Now let's go in there all bone arrow style. Use cyborg vision to tag hostiles in the base from the overlook. Use cyber vision. There's the hostiles. There's hostiles. Objective. Hostiles. You have several options in securing garrisons. You can kill all hostiles yourself. You can lure the dragons to the main gate. Or you can bring down the mega shields. This will attract nearby dragons to the garrison automatically. Oh. Or perhaps you can- For fuck's sake, shut up, HUD. I do what I want. Understood. Just keep in mind that there are two ways to turn off the mega shields through either the console or directly at the generator, which you can also destroy. Bob, Doc, you simply say- I am. This is going to get bloody and messy fast. Those happen to be my two favorite things. I love using both arrows. Sorry if I don't really talk a lot. I'm not really good at single person commentary, so. I just talk whenever I want to say something or need to say something. Or feel the need to say something. No. Either way. Break, break your, break, break your heart. I'm only gonna break, break your, break, break your heart. That song is really old. I do not know why I'm singing it. I think you got the point. Ah, oh, took the garrison. It appears to be over, Sergeant. I think it's time we meet. Send me your location, and I'm on my way. Oh yeah. I know you guys don't know this, but objective. Um, basically later out in the game, you get to, uh, apparently there's a sex scene in this game, I'm not sure why, but the, apparently there is a sex scene in this game, and I don't know if it's with Dr. Dr. Darlin, or I don't know who it is with, but I know there is a sex scene, so if, if you are under the age of, well, if you are under the age of, um, 14, I'd suggest, like, not watching this, and going to watch something, something equally bad like TV, and, 
So. That being said. I'm not sure it's with Dr. Darlin now, Objective but. Complete. We'll just have to Are see. You okay? Yes, thank Although you. Although if we think about it, roller Where section would be pretty things? kinky. We're not sure. I'm just kidding. Perhaps a living fossil from the early Cretaceous period. We call them blood dragons. BDs for short. When Sloan drank their blood, it supercharged his cybernetics. He drank their blood? Is that a joke? No, Sergeant. If it is a joke, I'm afraid it's a bad one. The blood supercharged Sloan, making him even more powerful. And one ugly motherfucker. Why I gotta get some of his blood. Sloan? And what does he want with that rocket? Sergeant, slow down, please. We were using the rockets to test biochemical payloads of the dragon's blood. Rockets? As in more red spears? How many? I don't know. A lot. I don't think Sloan is interested in tests anymore. And I don't even want to get into what it does to normal people. That's why you went AWOL? Sergeant, Sloan wasn't entirely there to begin with. Now he has the rockets, and God knows what he's planning. What's with the needle, Doc? Listen, this will make you more like Sloan. Powerful, but... Yeah, give me some of that, that dragon blood. No, Doc. I got tiger blood. No way. Winning. To a special lake. I got dragon blood. Winning lake. Wife? Like, Rex power... No. Colt. Rex, yeah, that right, yeah. Rex Power Colt. Tell me the winners. Winning. Don't use drugs. Yeah, real American boy you are there. Alright, look. Sloan runs three top secret facilities, each critical to his operations. I'm sending you their coordinates. Oh, but I like Contact the way we deliver you like all graffiti and stuff like that. All the intel you need. You got yourself a deal, Doc. What about you? Are you safe here? Just as long as Sloan doesn't realize I'm helping you. Good luck. Oh, I get it. So Sloan's gonna realize that I'm helping her. So, or Sloan's gonna realize she's helping me at one point. Wait, is that my other eye? Okay. So now that we've completed that mission, I'm gonna do one more mission and then I'm gonna stop the recording. Clear garrison like this one. Secondary missions will become available right. at the adventure Let's see. cabinet. Where am I supposed to go? Okay. Let's not disappoint the fans. Time to do this. Time to put this. Attachments make your gun bigger and better. Okay. The objective of hop of hostage escape is to save some scientist dude by killing all the Omega Force in the area. But be careful. If they spot you, they'll kill the scientist deader than Disco. That just goes pretty dead. Alright. Let's get in a vehicle and let's go to this place. Hey, you scientists. Fix this truck right now. Do it now, bitch. Apparently, I gotta save a nerd. I don't even know. I, I don't wanna walk all the way to it. Do I just have to walk all the way there? Oh my gosh. You're freaking kidding me. I don't wanna walk all the way there. We still have my bow and arrow. I don't even have my bow and arrow anymore. That's sad. Oh well. I got my shotgun and everything. Eliminate Omega Force cyber soldiers quietly, or they will terminate the hostages with lethal prejudice. Lethal prejudice? The hell? I snipe them all. So you get sniped, and then. The hostage is under attack. Protect the cyber nerd. Did you dare hurt my cyber nerd? Did you dare hurt my cyber nerd? Please don't hurt me! Back your bitch. I'll do anything, please! I have no scruples! I'm gonna beat you to bits. Let me live, I'm begging you! Oh, you wanna go like that, don't you? No scope! 
Oh crap, whatever. Fine, screw you. Sure can you. Yeah, get down. Mm. What the fuck is... Alright. Basically this time right here. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's up? Don't you dare walk away from me. Hey, get back here. You've done a good thing, saving my genius. I guess I have. Yeah. Patented Kobayashi Corporation instant travel system. Open the map, select a liberated garrison, and press the relevant buttons. Kobayashi Corporation fast travel. Now 85% accurate, with only 10% genetic degradation. Yeah, okay. Neato. So open up the map. It's fast travel to the garrison. Alright, sweet. So I'm gonna end the recording here, guys. This has been Perfect Chaos, and I will see you later. All Peace. Activities